Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 259. In today's episode, Amazon shakes up pharmacy biz with pill pack acquisition. Amazon shook up the healthcare business last week with the acquisition of online pharmacy startup PillPack for around $1 billion with a B. PillPack distributes pills in easy-to-use packages designed for consumers with chronic conditions and multiple prescriptions. The company sorts prescriptions by the dose and includes a label with a picture of each pill and directions on how it should be taken. Pharmacist T.J. Parker and computer scientist Elliot Cohen founded PillPack in 2013 after meeting at a medical technology program at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. PillPack has mail-order pharmacy licenses in all 50 states, which could allow Amazon to expand quickly. PillPack also has relationships with most major drug benefit managers, including Express Scripts and CVS, and says it works with most Medicare Part D drug plans. These relationships will help Amazon enter this complex and heavily regulated sector. The deal sent shockwaves through an already shifting industry, sending shares of Walgreens and Rite Aid down almost 10% and CVS down about 6% on the news. This is big news, but it's not surprising that Amazon has finally made its move into healthcare. In 2016 alone, Americans spent $328.6 billion on retail prescription drugs. CVS had prescription sales of $59.5 billion last year, while Walgreens sold $57.8 billion worth of drugs in its fiscal 2017. The acquisition threatens the suppliers and retailers who have traditionally made the lion's share of the profit in this sector. Lisa Balamowicz, president of consultancy GIST Healthcare, said to Bloomberg, this provides an avenue for Amazon to disrupt major pharmacy chains the way they disrupted booksellers, pet suppliers, clothing, and other big box retailers. The transaction is expected to close in the second half of 2018, according to a statement from the companies. I hope nobody was surprised by this. No. No, and I, I think it's a good buy uh, because of the buy. because of the technology. Yeah. They could have bought. I don't know what the other players are. I don't know enough about this field, but I like PillPack. If you look at the packaging and the way it's done, I think it's super smart. I think it's really going to change the way people get their prescriptions. I think this is bigger than huge. It is, and I think that's a it's a good thing for overall for consumers um, because. You know, pharma, pharma, pharmaceutical things are expensive. Yeah. And I understand pharmacy, pharmaceutical companies have to do development and research and stuff like that. But, you know, it's kind of silly when, you know, they say that and then like they post biggest profits ever, every year. Because people don't really have a choice. Correct. And, and- I think this, this makes it, you know, if they're going to be one of the biggest, right? I mean, between Amazon and, and I guess, Walmart, their pharmacies, they're probably one of the biggest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So this pill pack was made specifically not for a guy like you who would say, oh, I just take a, a allergy med once in a while. No. Right. This is for one, that. One of the investors had said, um, he named some stats, the average U.S. person over 50 has five prescriptions. That's who this is made for. This is someone who has to manage multiple prescriptions. They have to drive to the pharmacy, stand in line, put the scripts in pill boxes, remember when to take them, remember the interactions between them. Mm-hmm. PillPack does all this. When you order something from PillPack, it basically comes in a strip and it says, Monday, 8 o'clock, take these pills. To Ooh, me, that's, that's amazing for older people and like people who have to take stuff. You know, how many times you've seen people with, I mean, I'm pretty sure your mom does it. My parents do it too. Where like all Monday morning, I have to take this pill and they have a big pill box going on. Right. Yeah. Like, instead of just going, Oh, I need to take this right now. Like to me, that is like, um, do they have actually, it's funny. Cause I, I didn't even see this. 
Do they have an app on like phones and stuff? Like, yeah, they have an app. It? And I think, I don't know if it has an alarm on it, but it has an app. And it, there's been other, I think Target tried to disrupt this a while back because that is a big problem. It's the time and the interaction things. They had something, they, they redesigned their bottles and they really did a good job with that. There was even some people who invented pill alarms and just things like that. And it just gets a little, it just seems like it gets a little more cumbersome than it should be. I think this is a real simple solution. Yeah, I think actually, you know what, just looking at their site right now, believe it or not, this could come in handy for me. Like even the first picture has uh, one cinnamon, two fish oils, one vitamin B complex. That That's a combination I would take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, I think, so what's going to happen is the, the company will remain the same. I think everything is just, obviously, Amazon will be the, the owner. Nothing changes. And in fact, you don't really pay for this service. You just have to find a pharmacy that offers this because yep. insurance pays, pays, or insurance pays, the consumer does the copay, the service is free. So it doesn't cost anymore you just have to find the pharmacy that offers this so now what will happen is you're going to say why the heck do i want to go stand in line and write a way i can just go on amazon.com and get my fish oil and my vitamins or or my cholesterol my beta blockers whatever the heck we're taking yeah um so there's there's actually a company in new york that was also doing this and i think now um they're not going to be doing it anymore unless yeah. i mean unless they they try but i think that's it's gonna I think this is a better way of doing things. So strategically, great deal for Amazon. Um, you saw the numbers. Drugs are one to one point five percent of GDP. That is, that's you know. So anyone surprised by this is a fool. But Amazon needed that jump start because what PillPack offers, they have all the licenses in fifty states. I think so. They have um, there's two licenses. There's mail order and then there's retail licenses. I think that the, the retail license has to still come into effect if i'm not mistaken i believe so but once that happens how soon do we see pharmacies in whole foods or in the ghost stores <laughs> right you get the retail farmer licenses all of a sudden it's like you're going to amazon for your drugs i mean why would you want i mean you just get it delivered and like if you really think about it right if they do this right and you're in the area where amazon now is around you will get your stuff in two hours anyway yeah yep yep, yep. yeah so think about this. Right now, PillPack only has 40,000 customers and they sold for a billion dollars. Yeah. Now, it's, that's 40,000 pharmacies. That's, that's still huge. But think about this acquisition. I mean, these guys only started. Oh, it's amazing. Five, I, five it's, years overall, ago. I think it's amazing from, from, I mean, from customers to, I mean, I would say this is amazing too for people, you know, sort of like eventually for your parents where it's like for you to make sure they're taking their stuff. And yeah, they're, yeah. They're, and what it's, they're taking. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden it makes it easier to check up on this stuff. To, to have this stuff done via mail order. I don't know how many stories I've heard in the last year of, Oh, uh, you know, grandma tried to go to the pharmacy and she fell. Like, right. <laughs> like uh, that is completely unnecessary. Yeah. Completely. Unnecessary. And then and like, and then the idea that you can like, you know, target is even doing these things where like your roll of paper uh, or toilet paper is gone. It's just reorders it automatically. Yeah. I mean, they're probably going to, hopefully they're going to build in these packs where it tells you they actually took it or took, at least took it out of the thing. Right. So there's a glass of that moment where you like your app can notify you that grandma took. Oh it yes. Very, very smart. Very smart. Yeah. Right. I would definitely. At least you have that, right. You don't have to be calling everything. Like, grandma, do Listen, you we got the, we have dash buttons. that tells me when to get paper towels. I would certainly hope that we get a button that tells grandma, took her pill right i would, th I would think science should go towards something like that wouldn't you think yes like that is the the weird simple thing and we had friends who tried to build this a few years ago and it actually worked my dad actually was using it because it was great yeah. they like texted him every every time he had to take one he had to for a bit take a few pills for six months but and he had to take him like every two three hours oh, or i like remember that. that that was that was a long time ago wasn't it yeah that was a while ago Before i mean time. yep Yep, that was happening. Anyway. To wrap it up, we knew that the healthcare industry had predicted this. CVS tried to buy Aetna for $69 billion. Cigna was trying to get us express scripts for $54 billion. So it's, this is not, you know, this isn't going to be news to that sector. Bezos has already, he's been getting into um, trying to get into the healthcare system. 
he, uh, what was the thing he did? I'm trying to read this here that with Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan, they were going to try to come up with some worker health benefit company. I don't know whatever happened with that. And you have to think Bezos, he bought drugstore.com like 20, 20 years ago or yeah, something. something like that. <laughs> so he's been trying. And I think, you know, and Jeff Bezos, I mean, how long has he waited before you know, taking profits out of the company? It's been exactly. 20, 20 years. So he just waited. He waited till the time was right and made a great acquisition. So kudos to Amazon. Kudos to them. All right. Got anything else? No, that is it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. Full show notes are at e-commerce minute.co. And just to remind everyone, you can get the e-commerce minute wherever your podcasts are available and also on your spark devices. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.